Well, just moments ago, the Pentagon authorized an additional 1,000 American troops to the Middle East in response to growing concerns over Iran, where tensions have been quickly mounting. Just today, Iran moved to increase uranium enrichment levels and break the stockpile limits set by the 2015 Obama nuclear deal within the next 10 days. The threat comes on the heels of last week's oil tanker attacks in the Gulf of Oman, which the U.S. says Iran is clearly behind. Here now live, Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, a member of the Armed Services Committee, of course, and also author of the new book, Sacred Duty, A Soldier's Tour at Arlington National Cemetery. Senator, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Ed. How serious is this tonight, the president and the Pentagon authorizing a thousand more U.S. troops to the Mideast? Ed, this kind of deployment is a prudent measure to build up our force protection posture at our, some of our permanent bases in the region, like in Qatar and Bahrain, where we have thousands of sailors and airmen based, as well as some of the contingency forces we have in places like Iraq. It also helped with surveillance in the Persian Gulf and the Strait of mm -hmm. Hormuz and the Gulf of Oman against the kind of attacks, uh, unprovoked attacks on commercial shipping on the high seas. Uh, that Iran conducted last week against those two tankers, or that they conducted in a port last month against four different tankers. Yeah. Before this announcement, the New York Times said this in an editorial, the incident is the latest evidence that the United States and Iran are on a collision course at a moment in which hardliners on both sides have little interest in any diplomatic off-ramp. I wonder what you think tonight are the chances that in the next 12 months we'll be talking about a hot war in the Middle East. Ed, if the United States and Iran are on a collision course, it's only because Iran continues its 40-year low-level war against the United States to the point of provoking retaliatory military strikes. Let's remember, the Ayatollah seized power in 1979 mm -hmm. and immediately invaded sovereign American soil, our embassy in Tehran, and held our fellow citizens hostage for 400, 400 days. Also, in 1987, 1998, Iran did exactly the kind of thing they're doing now, attacking uh, commercial vessels in the Persian Gulf and in the Strait of Hormuz to the point that Ronald Reagan had to conduct retaliatory military strikes against the Iranian Navy and their oil facilities. Mm -hmm. What Iran did last week warrants such retaliatory military strikes. It's up to Iran whether they want to be behave like a yeah. civilized, normal nation or whether they want to continue to conduct these kind of terrorist attacks. Senator, you laid out some stubborn facts right there. Nancy Pelosi, as you probably doesn't surprise you, disagrees with about all of it. Listen to what she said and want you to react. He comes in and does, undoes that and, you know, inflames the uh, U.S.-Iran issue. Why? What is, the, what, what is the purpose? I'm not going to accuse anybody of instigating anything but for, for not having a, a policy that would smooth the waters, so to speak. I think he probably knows there's no appetite for war among the American people. I imagine you know that when she says he, she's talking about the president of the United States, and she's saying that basically he inflamed the situation by tearing apart the Obama nuclear deal. Ed, I have to say I'm surprised and a little disappointed that Nancy Pelosi sounds like she's siding with the Ayatollahs just a few days after they attacked commercial vessels in the uh, open seas of the Gulf of Oman. Look, Iran has been engaged in these kind of activities for years. Even after the terrible nuclear deal that President Obama signed in 2015, they were still supplying their rebel proxies in Yemen with missiles that could be used to attack shipping lanes in the Red Sea and even attack U.S. vessels. They continue to support terrorist groups like mm -hmm. Hamas and Hezbollah and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. They continue to support attacks on Americans in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is the very same kind of attacks that killed more than 500 Americans in Iraq. Iran is solely responsible for the level of tension in the Middle East. If they want to ratchet down that tension, mm -hmm. they can be begin to behave like a normal nation. And if they don't, then they are going yeah. to—they are going to face the fu full might of the American military sooner or later. All right, the stakes are high tonight, Senator Tom Cotton. We appreciate you coming in.